In this box is a golf club of which I have never heard of and is actually a great price. However, is it the answer to budget golf clubs? Today, I think I can convince PJ Pro this thing is worth a lot more than it is. He's actually down there warming up right now. Guys, this golf club looks spectacular. I'm gonna put it in the bag. I'm gonna wait for him to ask about it and let's see if really it's worth a lot more than I paid. You see guys, I've actually tested this golf club already on my channel and I actually think in the right hands for the right person who wants a high launching, easy to hit hybrid, it could be a really, really good bargain. I tested it against a golf club that costs three times as much, a big brand name, and it was very, very interesting. It was a, I first of all thought it wasn't very good. And then when I got it on the golf course, I thought, actually, you know what, for the price and how cool it looks and how much at the talking point you could get behind it, I think realistically, it could be something rather cool. That logo looks very similar to a clothing logo, which, um, yeah, I'm not too sure. But take a look at that. I think that could fool, well, I think it will fool even the most established golf club purchaser. And that's him right there. So guys, welcome to the channel, everybody's favorite PGA pro. Gaz, how are you? I'm good, thanks, yeah. We've so got guys, good. I bought a club, right? And you, I mean, you know, you know lots about buying clubs because right. you buy a lot of clubs and you sell a lot of clubs, but have you ever seen that? I've not, what, I'm guessing you're talking about this one. I am. Oh my God. Look at that. Now, I'm, I'm worried I've overpaid for this. So the, the premise of this video, I want you to guess how much I've paid for it. I've given you a little bit of a hint there, but... I'm going to ask this question. Is it real? Is it, is it a copy of something or is it just its own It's a brand, brand I've never heard of. That's it. I don't think it's a copy. If, if it was a copy, it looks a bit like the Malbon logo, doesn't it? You know, the clothing. I mean, but... That's sexy, that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so I've had it in the studio and tested it. Yeah. I'm not going to talk you too much about it, but I want, I want to know your opinion as a PJ Pro. Because, so what I'm a huge fan of at the moment, guys, is brands bringing out golf clubs and rivaling the bigger brands. Be that expensive brands, cheap brands, budget brands like Tacoma, Cali, Kirkland, that are making fantastic golf clubs on a bit of a budget. But I think the big boys are worried now with a lot of brands coming out. I is don't this, think this can be a budget club. Is this going to be the next one? My first impression is it's look, so well engineered. Look at that, look at the... You know, obviously I've seen a lot of budget clubs before. And to me, I mean, I've never heard of that shaft. I'm not going to lie. It reminds me of the Korean hidden technology shaft. You know, the yeah. Automax. I'm definitely thinking it's come from Japan somewhere like that. Potentially. I think that's where, like looking at that, it does, I mean, the head cover's got, I might game the head cover anyway. Yeah. Game, that's a very American way of saying it, isn't it? I'll but, be able to tee off with this actually. Cause yeah, it's, well, that's uh, the point, mate. So I want you to hit it a couple of times. We're going to have a match. We're going to play the first couple of holes. Here at Woolly Park, we'll hit them off the tee. Yeah. Um, and I want, I want you to tell me what you think because, yeah. like I said, I think potentially there could be a bit of a interesting. I tell you what would be good is to see what sort of price point I think you've paid. After yeah, and that's yeah exactly it. what I want to want to know. I mean, that looks some cool kit. That. Yeah, I mean, you've got to. The thing is, if you stand there and you don't hit that down the middle. Yeah. Head shape wise, it's gorgeous. It's almost like TS2 shape. I'll tell you now, honestly, if I had my preferred grip on it, I could, I would put that down and that could happily be in my bag if I perform it well. Yeah, well, it's a stiff shaft and it's a three three hybrid. There's nothing about this club that makes me like not want to hit it. It just actually, it's exciting to hit actually. Let's see. Another well, low I hit that out the bottom of the, bottom groove and it's still gone. I wasn't expecting, oh my, that's ma I weren't expecting that ball flight, man, I'm not gonna lie. I have a feeling as though this hybrid is almost for players who want that ease of launch. I'll tell you what, go again. Let's it must be forgiving, a I honestly, I must have hit that there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wondered on the bottom of it, if we have a look on the bottom of the head, if that's almost like a through slot speed pocket, I don't, I mean, yeah. it, it has to be something, doesn't it? It's not just for show. No, I think you're right. So you've got one in play for the match. I'll go white this time. If this is, reasonably priced i'll tell you what there'll be people interested in this just because it looks so cool that's better i mean that's a proper ball flight that's gonna have gone miles i think yeah that's just about in that bunker which is about 240 it's a long way that it felt it didn't feel titanium like titanium you know yeah. like tinga it felt solid to be honest right. it felt like a real metal hit i'm gonna have a go and then we'll uh a new bag. Nice that, isn't it? 
Look at that gorgeous little old Joe. Oh, well, new stuff's going to be coming out now, isn't it? People it's that time of year, mate, isn't it? It's that time of year. Masters is on its way. Oh, it's quite a cool, you know, like if someone said, oh, what are you hitting there? And you show yeah. them that. Yeah. You would wonder, wouldn't you? They've definitely gone out there with the logo and stuff, haven't they? And the brand name. Yeah, Rich. Perfect if your name's Richard. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm going to go a little bit further right. Head shape. So, do you reckon the shaft feels short for a three? I didn't really pick up on it. Short. See, that's how I've found it. Nice kind of ping sound, but really easy to launch and high. And that, I mean, it's got a nice distance for me there, yeah. straight down the middle of a fairway. Interesting. I'll say it on camera at some point, but at this stage, I couldn't tell you whether it's a £150 club or a £350 club. Yeah. I know it's not a budget club. It's definitely... What if I told you? What? It was either more than that or less than that for both of them. Oh, God. Well, I'd, I'd have to go less just because I've never heard of the brand. I'm because sure I would have heard about it from somebody. Well, I massively think it's kind of Asian market kind of thing, yeah. just looking at it. And I think some of the brands we've never heard of potentially could be coming into the market. Like, you'd never heard of PXG till you heard of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I suppose. But... Well, am I, am is I, it above or below shifter. then? It's not in that price range. <laughs> well, I would uh, I would say you've got a bargain if it's below. Yeah? Definitely. Well, let's have a couple more goes with it, because I think it's one of them where... You know, sorry to bring the attention back to the bag, but... So I've got it set up on a single strap. You've got two straps with it, yeah. but for me, I love it. We're only going out and playing a few holes, so just a nice single strap on yeah. there. And just cut that, for me, is Dreamland. It's new Ojo Shadow bag, but anyway. Obviously, it's not fitted. It's just a, a very nice, colourful shaft. That appeals to you, doesn't it? Shafts oh. like that. Yeah. Always I've, appeal to people. Especially if it performs, if you can hit it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, some people can't afford to buy, like, upgrade shafts at 300, 400 pounds. Yeah. But they want to feel like they've got, you know, some sparkling, you know, some some exciting to hit. I mean, to be fair, we've littered the fairway with them there as well. So when we say the proof could be in the pudding, the proof could literally be in the performance of this club. When I tested it on the simulator, the one thing I will say is I found it very easy to launch in the air. Yeah, and did you do any comparison or just numbers? I compared it to the Cobra Dark Speed. Right. So I'm not gonna take it, it'll, it'll might, might kind of now edge I'm, you either Now way. I'm wondering why you've compared it to that club. Because there must be something that... I had the same loft with a similar shaft. Right. Is, is the honest answer to that. So, where well, the duck's gone? Bobby will be so disappointed today. No ducks. So really interesting, what I like about this is Gaz's mishit has gone nearly as far as the one that you absolutely boomed and yeah. my one that I hit quite nicely has gone True. a similar distance. So we just had a little conversation walking down, we should probably have filmed it, but this is what we do. You're wondering where I've got it from? Yeah, where is it a direct-to-consumer brand? Have you got it from a website? So it's not direct-to-consumer, Right. I don't think. It's a website, I've got it online. Yeah. As you can imagine. Could it, like, to me, could it be one of the club fitting places that, like, kind of matches specialist heads and shafts and... Is it is it is it a UK factory? Is it come from outside of England? It took a while to get here. Oh. <laughs> it took a while to get I ordered it in January, to be fair, so... Um, I'll pick this one up for you, pal. Cheers, mate. Guys, comment below. You know how much it is. I've told you how much it is. I've told you where it's from. What are your thoughts on this? Because I'm a huge believer but price shouldn't really matter. I can't believe you've told them and you haven't told me. <laughs> the review's already gone on. Has it? <laughs> <laughs> but I think testing clubs like this is a much better way of doing it because realistically, should it matter if it was 400 quid? Should it matter if it was 80 quid? Was it 400? <laughs> was it really? Laura's going to kill me, don't. <laughs> should it matter if it was 83.99? Or should it matter if it was 403.99? Because if it performs really, I mean, obviously, people's budgets are people's budgets. That's a very silly thing to say. But if it's budget and it works, sure, you're in play, aren't you? Yeah. I'd I say it wouldn't surprise me if it were from looking at the club, because it's just well engineered. Yeah. Um, it's just well, hard to get your head around when you're going in with a brand. Look at these new irons in the bag again for Gaz. <sighs> They're hardly groundbreaking clubs. I'm going to go wedge. Is it a match? We'll see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have a match. Couple of rolls. Good strike. Should be all right. Oh, it's way short. Sure. Oh, we should have hit this hybrid. Are we into the wind? I don't know. 
I'm saying that you are 150 away. Well, it's saying 131, does that sound right? Yeah. Flag's at the front, isn't it? Go on. Go on. That's short as well. That's weird, that, isn't it? Must, there must be quite a strong wind there. Ain't it that good? I want a bit any more, you know. We should both of it the hybrid. <laughs> Where do you think it's coming from? Japan. Do you think? It's got to have. Why? Just because I the the colours of the shaft and like how out there it is. Yeah. I think it's it'd suit that market. You know, I don't think our British market were a bit boring. Not we're a bit set in as ways, aren't we? We don't yeah. experiment as much. I think uh might be blabbing a bit, but I think it is easy to launch. I think it's a light shaft. And I think having spent some time in, in South Korea, a lot of the golf clubs on the market there are designed to help people get the ball up in the air. The shaft's a little bit shorter. The average height isn't as, as tall yeah. out there. So it, it all kind of ties into potentially could. You can feel that wind now, can't you? Yeah. I've come out the back of those trees. So um, not what we anticipated into this hole. How much would you spend on it? I think for me personally, an hybrid club, I wouldn't like to spend more than 250. Yeah, because it's not one you hit all the time, is it? I mean, if I was really blown away by something and I fancy like treating myself, I don't know where I'd stop, but I'd, for that sort of brand that I've never heard of, it's hard to sort of like say that I'd spend but any more than are that. You a, are you a trendsetter or are you a follower? <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? I don't know, when, it, when I'm spending that kind of money, I just, I don't know. I don't know what guys think at home, but... Well, where it's from can divide opinion. Right, ooh, it sounds like China then to me. Give over. Oh. I've got to not that close now. Yeah, you have. And I must say, it's not an advertisement for the brand or for the website or for anywhere that we got it from, but it's more uh, quite a serious video in how much clubs cost and if you didn't know how much they cost yeah. as a placebo effect, would it make a difference to you? Well, I think it would now, now yeah. we're having this conversation. Yeah. It would because no matter how it performs, I think there's only a certain price I'd be prepared to go to because I don't yeah. know about the brand. But then you look at it and we've both done quite a lot of work with the guys at Golf and so Cash, haven't we, with second-hand market and for me, the second-hand market's a fantastic place for value at the moment. If you're looking, you like you keep saying your mates wanting to get into golf. Yeah. Oh, be good. Be good. Oh, it's not quite as good. It's not. You're going to have to get your putter out there, mate, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. But, mate, you've, you said you're hauling the world, didn't you, on Instagram yesterday? <laughs> yeah, but it never misses. I'm sure I'll knock it in there. Is that a chipper? No, oh, no, no. But no. it's left to right as well. Or is it? Is it right to left? Is mine good, by the way? Yeah, yours is all right. Just about. Oh, do you want it out? Yeah, I'll take it out, yeah. There's more pressure on this than when I used to play properly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with these matches, isn't yeah. it? People think we're just having fun. Is that my old hat? I don't know. That's my old hat, that. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, well done. solid. Well done. And that's why I like the banter we have, because it makes you take it a bit more seriously, doesn't it? Definitely. We always have a serious match now, don't we? Right. Let's go hybrid again. If I was guessing the price, I would love to say that this club is like 199 or less. Because if it is, I think people will have a look at it. Yeah. Um, and, it, you know, I, from what I've even only just had a couple of shots, I've looked at how it's engineered, how it makes me feel, you know, like, mm -hmm. I think, oh, wow, I've got a good club, like a nice club in my hand here. Um, I think there's a market for it. If it's, if it's above The head cover feels really 30, premium. If it's above 230, then I'm, I worry for them. Oh, <laughs> that maybe make me suspect that we could be on to something then. Yeah. If it's, if it's made in China, surely it's going to be a bit cheaper, right? Right. Well, guys, I'm going to disclose all at the end of this hole. So we'll play this hole, we'll level. Very short match, but I feel like the video's done what it needed to do. Let's see how it goes with this one. Do you reckon the shaft feels, almost feels like an energy loading shaft, doesn't it? You know, like yeah. where you have to... Just feels, snap it feels pretty quid, good. It's pretty good. Were it 400, it weren't 400. I know you're winding me up with that. Or am I? Or is it a triple negative? I think you're from Yorkshire. You wouldn't have spent 400 quid on a club. <laughs> yeah, because of that. Oh, that were better. That was unreal. 
That's fantastic. I could safely say that I could definitely put that in my bag. Yeah. And I'm quite critical of equipment sometimes, you know. That ball flight was gorgeous. But engineering-wise, you know, how it's, you could just tell it's been made well. You just love the well. diamante hosel, don't you? That as well, yeah. Imagine if they made a driver. Might have to have a look. Sharp. Bit out to the right, but it felt okay. Did someone tip you off about this brand? No, I just found it. In fact, you know what? You tipped me off about it. Did I? Yeah. Oh. I'll tell you at the end of the video. Oh, it must be off Timu. <laughs> <laughs> Is it off Timu? Is right. it really? Let me show you. Wow. I can't believe you haven't seen the amount of shopping you do on there, but let's have a look. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that what you paid? $86.98? Yeah. That's a screenshot of when I bought it. Because th you said, oh, there's loads of good stuff on there. For anybody building a set on a budget, no way. That's scary. And I know so a lot of people don't like our website. And I, to be honest, I buy golf clubs from where I think people buy what golf clubs from. We review them. It's not an endorsement. But this is a good club for the price. Like, I, I love the idea of people saving money on golf clubs and stuff like that. So if you don't want to go and buy off the website or the app, don't do it. But for me, I think it's important you test stuff like that. Some of the, some of the stuff off there is absolute garbage, as you know as well. But this is all right, isn't it? Honestly, you could not go into a retail shop and get a club of that quality, that well engineered, and one that makes you feel as good for £99. What no. can you get for £99? Uh, a Phaser, a Dunlop. You can't even get a good night out, can you? <laughs> Well, it's not even £99, it's 86 86 you yeah. have changed. So what I'll do, guys, I'll see if it's available anywhere else as well, and I'll pop a link in the description below. There's no kickbacks or anything. This isn't a sponsored video. Um, but, yeah, look where, look where yours has gone there. I actually really enjoy it. Maybe it's the yellow ball. I could have genuinely... If you'd have said that club were 199 I'd have not batted an eyelid. Yeah. I'd have thought it was good value. Would you like to borrow it for a video? I'd love to. Done. You're in genuine shock, aren't you? I am. I'm genuinely in shock. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Of course, I mean, this, there's a lot of fake stuff kicking about on Timo and, and AliExpress and yeah. that, and it, it does make you like, I'm surprised you spent that much because you didn't know what you were going to get, but you've yeah. actually come up. I think for trumps. us, when we are doing videos like this, it's funny because, so honestly, videos for us generally do well if the product maybe isn't that good. But sometimes if you do find a shock one that is good. So I bought a driver off there for a similar price. Yeah. The driver was terrible. The driver probably went the same distance as this hybrid. I watched that video. PGM. Yeah, so, yeah, and the thing is there, stay away from it. Don't buy it. I'm yeah. happy to offer you an honest review, and honest opinion of that. Whereas this one, you're buying it off me. I, I would <laughs> say if you've got a budget of £100 or less to buy a hybrid and you're somebody um, you know, wanting something nice and easy to eat, I, I couldn't, I'm, I'm shocked I'm recommending it because yeah. it's off a website that I know a lot of people don't like, but... You love it though, man, Charity you? starts at home, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, get great point, great point. Right, are you too close there? 161. No way. The 150 mark is here. Well, it's at back, isn't it? Can't use that, I'm guessing. It's saying 199. It's saying 180 something. That's, that's trees. I've never hit six side into here though, I must say. Silence. Stay oh. there. Oh no! It's not bad. It's not bad. It's spun all the way down the bank. Oh, from this distance, you're on. Interesting to see what other products that brand does now we've obviously discovered it. Get on your phone now. It's called Rich. Let's have a look. That swing path is awful. Because it is a cool logo, isn't it? Birdie here claims it for you. Disqualification, touching the plane in front of the bag. Looks further than 65. It can't be 65, surely. Is that 150? Yeah. Wherever yeah. you've got that range finder from, Gaz. Just one sec, sorry. It's probably hit the tree, that's what it is. Yeah, it's 121. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about first all, that's all, and how short we come up. Stay there. Is that going to do similar to what mine did? Mine did. bank. Oh, it come has. On. Come on, come on, come <laughs> on. Oh, yeah. Have a bit of that, son. I don't feel as bad now. Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> oh, I need me to go first. Oh, look, that's an awful flag when you think of it. Look where those have pitched. That's John, that, isn't it? He knew we were playing today. Stuart, that. Is it Stuart? Oh, Stuart all day. Clean me uh, club on your towel, guys. Whoa, whoa, clean inside. On inside. Whoa. On inside. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Don't you dare. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You better not. Oh, he's done it! 
Who brings a white towel out in March? I forgot my towel and that went back at my car. <clears throat> right, it's me first. When it left in? Yeah. Slow up there. I'm gonna mark that before it comes back down. Just as we had a discussion yesterday when we said we were both putting really well. I know. That slope's massive. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God, it's only just got past yours. I wouldn't have hit it that hard if I'd not seen yours. No, it's, uh, it's a tough putt, that. I know you won't be giving me that, so I'll put a mark on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pick it up, guys, I'm gonna give you that one. Guys, that is a hybrid, which to be honest, I think is exceptional value for money. You might not like where it's from, don't go and buy it if you don't. Which might not. I think definitely fooled me. I wouldn't have thought that that were under £100 when I no. saw engineering and quality of it. See you all at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.